One of the things I hate the most about the world that we live in today is that everything is controversial, it seems, which means absolutely nothing is controversial. Because no matter what you do, no matter what you say, somebody is always going to have a problem with it. No matter what you do, no matter how you act, somebody is always going to have a problem with it. You could save stray cats and dogs, donate your time to homeless shelters, do things that you would think on the surface. There would be no fundamental reason why anybody in their right, ever-loving mind would disagree with or have a problem with, and yet, as the internet has exposed, we know that that's not the case. This overly sensitive world, from all sides and spectrums, just drives me absolutely crazy. It absolutely does. And the reality is, when you think about it from a purely political spectrum, no one viewpoint, no one ideology, or no one political party can in any way, shape, or form claim superiority in terms of not getting all butthurt in their feelings and acting snowflakey about something. Oh my God, he did this! Oh my God, he wore a tan suit! Oh my God, he said cafe! Like, who gives a crap? What happens is, is all this stuff is about sensationalism and your media profiting off of your reactions and distracting from really, truly significant, important issues of our time. It's just unfortunate, and that's the world that we live in. And I look at the reaction that Chris Jericho is getting because he has Donald Trump Jr. on his freaking podcast this week. And it's like, what is the big damn deal? I hate what the president that we have stands for. I can't wait for the day that he is out of office, whether it is one year plus from now or four years plus from now. And I promise you, the continually perpetual whining and bitching about said current president about every single little thing is not helping matters. It only becomes more and more of a diminishing return in the boy who cried wolf one too many damn times. Save the rage and the anger and the passion and the fury for the things that really matter, that have significance. Chris Jericho having the president's son on his podcast should not be one of them. We can't just always associate ourselves with people that we agree with. Let me rephrase that. We should not only associate ourselves with people that we agree with. Because all we do is we create bubbles around ourselves and we isolate ourselves and we become closed-minded, and I don't care if you lean liberal or conservative, that holds true. If you cannot be open to other viewpoints and other worldviews and other mindsets, then all you are doing is cheating yourself and denying yourself the opportunity to consider all opinions and all viewpoints and have really formed opinions. But as we know too often in this world now, it's all about the righteousness of our rightness. And that's all that matters. And oh my God, you disagree with me? I hate you to the end of time! I'm never going to the family cookout ever again! So we get to this point now where you've got these fans that are expressing their great displeasure and disappointment and embarrassment over a wrestler doing his Mark podcast and having the president's son on there. From the same wrestling community of fans, mind you, that seems to have absolutely no problem celebrating relatively acknowledged murderers, such as Superfly Jimmy Snuka, uh, all the bashing of Hulk Hogan that you see that is valid and totally legitimate, they seem to forget that Austin is a convicted woman beater! Ric Flair has been reported to say racist crap. Well, what the hell would Teddy Long know about that? Now that Ric Flair appears in rap videos and shit, he's down for the crowd. 
Mike Tyson, the convicted rapist, whether you believe he did it or not, the single fact of the matter is, is that he is a convicted rapist, and yet people celebrate him to king the fucking gum. But the most outrageous thing to your sensitivities is that the president's son appears on a wrestler's mark-ass podcast. A podcast! A podcast! The hell is wrong with people? The hell are our priorities at? What happened to a basic fundamental tenet such as free speech? That's why I do my best, my absolute best, to not suppress or block anybody on YouTube, on Twitter, so forth. Because if I only surrounded myself and concerned myself with the opinions that agreed with me, then I am doing myself this channel, just in general, a great disservice. Especially knowing how many people are so uber-sensitive to any type of constructive criticism, hate, feedback, whatever the hell you want to call it, that as soon as somebody expresses a dissenting opinion of any kind, he's black, black, I'm the bitch, black, black, I'm the bitch. And I ain't here for none of that shit with your bitch asses. I don't want to just hear from people that agree with me, shit, it's a lot more fun to interact with and talk to people that don't agree with me. It's fun to get a rise out of people. Sometimes it's fun to get, for them to get a rise out of me. But it helps me to get full perspective. It helps me to understand all viewpoints. And if I don't consider them, then I'm just doing it wrong and I'm just failing at life. And it's so often the case now, so many people are failing at life. And the wrestling community, wrestling fans, wrestling business is just a microcosm of the larger society as a whole in this way. Is if we don't like somebody, or we don't agree with somebody, we're going to rage and bitch with our flaming deep over the fire and to make sure that our voices are heard. Now, if Chris Jericho had Donald Trump Jr. on the podcast and they were talking about starting up some child peda pedophilia ring or something like that, then obviously that's a different story. But I highly doubt that's what happened. I highly doubt that that is being encouraged in any way, shape, or form. If they were talking on their podcast about doing the goose steps with swastikas on their arms down freaking D.C., I get it. You should be outraged at that point. But again, I highly doubt that is what is being discussed. That is not for me saying that Donald Trump Jr. isn't a clown, isn't a conspiracy peddling hack, or anything like that. Because all of that could be true, and I can still support and defend his right to be heard. I can support and defend Chris Jericho's right to have whoever that Sam Helen wants on his podcast. Period. And this is coming from a guy who Chris Jericho blocked on Twitter years ago. And frankly, when I think about all of the wrestlers that have blocked me over the years, some of them clearly earned and deserved. I don't even really remember why Jericho blocked me. But this is coming from that lens. Like, it doesn't have to be an earth-shattering thing. It doesn't really have to matter that much. It's, it's just wrestling, or it's just politics, or it's just this. There have to be other, more significant, more important things in our life to get worked up about. That's why it's so hard for somebody in wrestling to be a damn heel now. Because either, A, the wrestlers want to be cool and they want to be liked because they're too fucking insensitive, these millennial cucks. And as a result, they don't want anybody to really give them any heat. They don't want anybody to boom because he got fiends. Or B, you got these idiot fucking internet hardcore wrestling marks that want to sit there and say, we play God here. We're the ultimate voice. And if we say then it goes, and if we don't say it, then it go. And we want to like this guy. So damn his career, damn the pusher, damn the company. We're going to cheer him anyways, even though that's totally counterproductive. Or three, if you actually, by God, do something controversial, which is truly so rare in wrestling today, because, again, everybody has feelings and everybody is too quick to be my heart. 
then my god, this guy is freaking falling with the reaction that you'll get. Of all the things to rage about, though. Like, even if Chris Jericho came out, I don't care if he said he's not partisan or not. That's not even interesting. Even if he said, oh, I'm an advocate or supporter of the president, like, sure, I don't agree with him. Who gives a fuck? Like, who cares? The dudes in the one, two, three percent from an economic standpoint. Of course, he's going to support the guy that lowers his taxes. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, there's a self serving purpose there that all of us have. We all have a self serving purpose in the street. And sometimes, frankly, people will vote against their own self interest, mind you. But I digress. You got to stop getting mad about every little stupid thing, man. Got to stop trying to shut out differing opinions and viewpoints and di dissenting opinions at that. Because if you do, it's kind of a sad indictment on you. And that's why OTR Essential will always be not the wrestling show you want, maybe, but the wrestling show you need. Because you can come on here and disagree with me and call me names until kingdom frickin' come, and that's okay. <laughs>